Hello and welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. I am going to be showing you the month of April in two of my planners. This is my health Hobonichi weeks and this is my everyday carry, my personal planner, my Hobonichi cousin. And I did take it out of the Moturn cover that I had it in, um, but it's just the A5 olive Moturn cover, no big deal. But I'm gonna start with the weeks and show you guys kind of how my month went for my health planner and then also my personal. So let's get into it. So starting off, nothing really changed a lot for the month of April. I just updated my front portion. This is where I track like my period, vacations, everything like that. And then for my step tracker, I love seeing a completed month. It's so satisfying. I did stop wearing my watch that I used to track my steps around mid-April, I started having a reaction on my skin. So I just wanted to take a pretty good break from that. It has healed completely for the most part. There's a little bit of redness left, but I don't know if I'm going to continue this just because not wearing the watch has been really nice for my skin to heal. And I may change this into like just tracking my workouts in general not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with this yet, but as of now, I'm not wearing the watch so the steps aren't really being recorded and having a bunch of green dots is kind of sad, especially since that's like the lowest category. Anyways, moving on. For the month of April, it was my birthday month and I kind of went over this in my previous video about a walkthrough in my health Hobonichi weeks. Uh, if you want to watch that video, I will link it up in the cards for you guys. But this is just like the monthly overview. This is a Coffee Monster Co. kit. It's their birthday one. Um, Helen's so cute with all of her bright colors. It's probably one of the brightest ones she has because May is pretty muted compared. Anyways, um, I celebrated my birthday. We went to a casino, me and my boyfriend. And on this section, I just really write down little memories that I want to keep in the long term and then at the bottom here in this little box i like to put in you know kind of the the, the key takeaway from this month and i had a lot of things happen in april actually it was a pretty busy month but um I, I was really happy that i got to spend some fun times on my birthday going to a ranch and we sold a car bought a car just a whole lot going on anyways moving on into the weeklies in the weeklies, I track, you know, my meals, any kind of workout meditation I do, and then like a daily check-in on this side, three goals that I have for that week, a routine, and then the fasting time and a happy moment. So fasting time is kind of like intermittent fasting. I'm really trying to only eat certain parts of the day. I've noticed that I'm not really hungry when I wake up in the morning, so there's no sense in me eating breakfast if my body's not hungry. So I'm just trying to see what time I usually start eating and then what time I usually stop eating, just so I can learn a little bit more about my, I guess, body's requests for food. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do a check-in here. I will pre, like, Worn the month of April was pretty bad for my mental health. It was a pretty, pretty low month for me, but nonetheless, here it is. So this week I decided to do a green theme and then the week after that I did blue. The stickers are either going to be from the Coffee Monsters Co. or Sterling Inc. They're the main two shops that I shop from. I have other shops that I've debated on purchasing from, but haven't made the commitment yet. <laughs> I do like to like doodle and color a lot, so I don't want to purchase too many stickers. This week I did more of a purple theme since purple is my favorite color and it was my birthday. Um, if you see any sticky notes or tags, it's just stuff I'm not ready to share on the internet, so I'm covering it up. And then for the last week of April, I did this really pretty like green color. I really like the way this looks, especially with the sterling ink washi stickers they just look really nice anyways moving on into the trackers so i have a habit tracker on this side and then my 
menstrual tracker and sleep stress and mood. And again, if you want to reference that video I talked about earlier, it has kind of an explanation of this, but I did pretty good with my trackers. I definitely ate sugar every single day, which definitely needs to change. And I almost drink all of my water every day except for one. So that's pretty good. And then I actually didn't drink coffee every day in the month of April, which was kind of cool to see that I kind of took some breaks from my caffeine addiction. <laughs> After that, we have my workout log. I talked about this in the previous video as well. I won't be continuing this format for the month of May. I'm just going to be writing down like the date, the workout I did and like a little synopsis. But for the month of April, I did write down the exact exercise, the weight I did, and the reps and the sets I did. A lot of information, it's kind of hard to keep up with. And to me, it's not really that important. What's important is that I went and I worked out a certain part of my body. The next section is the running log that I have. I actually did really good in April. March and April were probably better months for me. Obviously, the weather gets nicer in March and April, so maybe that's why I have high hopes for you know may to get better um especially with my running time this day i walked but the the last run i did my time was 14 44 which sounds awful but for me that's really good considering i have come from like 16 minutes to 14 minutes i'm, I'm really happy with that moving on this is my show tracker so i talked about this too this was march i watched a lot of shows and for April I challenged myself to not watch as many TV shows if any at all and I didn't really succeed but I will say my boyfriend decided to take a week of vacation in April and so most of this is what we watched together so I'm not gonna count it against my challenge I did really good for my challenge the next section for April is my books I finished Metaphysics of the Gods by B.R. Taylor. It is super good if you're really into astrology, zodiacs, um, kind of the way astrology may impact our politics or anything like that. Really interesting book to read. I also read As a Man Thinketh by James Allen and then a productivity handbook by Reem Ismail. She is actually on YouTube. She does a fabulous, fabulous job in this book. Highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. She has a physical ebook and then an audio book that comes with it. It was really, really cool to have her, the author read it to me basically. Lastly, I have my meditation tracker. I totally fell off in April for my meditation. I, like I said, it was a pretty bad mental health month for me. So yeah, just, I didn't really pick it back up in April, but it is May and I will pick it up now. And we're gonna, we're gonna do better this month. We're gonna do better. But yeah, so that's it for my health tracker or health hope and weeks, sorry. So for my cousin, I just have some deco pieces here. These are vinyls from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then this is just some sparkly washi. On the inside, I have a Magic of Eye card that they sent with their planner. Um, I My first year buying with them, I really like their planners and they're very informative, but they don't have a lot of writing space. So if you wanna just use like a small journal entry day, really cool. Otherwise, just their information is really beneficial. For the Second page, I just have a quote here, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. It's a favorite quote of mine, it's by Ralph Waldo Emerson, and then this is another sticker from The Magic of I. I just love the Ouroboros, it's so cool. Then I have the 2023 year at a glance. These are the freebies that come in the Coffee Monsters Co. Facebook group, or you can purchase them as stickers from her shop. They are so cute, and I love that she went from an animal theme in 2022 to a food theme in 2023. I feel like 2023 was a really big health goal year for me, and still is since we're still in 2023, and 2022 is actually when I <laughs> had to say goodbye to quite a few of my beloved animals, so... I think it's kind of appropriate, even though Helen probably had no idea what she was <laughs> doing when she did that. As for my year, this like these pages, basically, I decided to make them a index slash memories slash tracker thing. So I have my index here at the top. I have 
all of my stats for my subscribers and followers. And then at the bottom here, I've put memories. I'm not gonna share all of this because it is very personal to me, but just know that. And then this is a just cut piece of paper that was printed from one of the digitals that Helen released. Moving on into the monthlies, this is my month of April. I like to keep a running task list of everything I need to get done in the month over here. This was another place to track my meditation. Again, visually, you can see I totally fell off. Um, I like to have three highlights of the month. So we went to the casino, I had a rant trip for my birthday, and I ended up creating this channel, which is really exciting for me because it's a very fun outlet. Other than that, the only things I really track are bills, any kind of videos I've done, um, spending things like taxes was in April. Um, yeah, and then at the bottom, I like to record the zodiac signs and the months or the dates that they go between. So like Aries is between March 21st and April 19th and Taurus is between April 20th and May 20th. As I've probably said in many videos, I really like astrology and I think it's really cool to see how the different months kind of shift into energies. Um, if you're a very intuitive person, you'll probably understand what that means. If not, that's okay. It's just kind of fun to know some things. <laughs> Moving on into the weeklies. This was the very first week of April. I used the self-care kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. with her self-care washi. So cute. I love this color. It's purple and lavendery, and ugh, I love it. Um, I do track my sleep on the side. I was trying to do a no spend and I actually did pretty good except for one day, but I did make it a, a business purchase. So I don't have to worry about that. And then this day I really had, this is, I think the day that my mental health just kind of like plummeted. So right at the beginning of April, I know, but moving on to, into the next week, I use this really light blue color and I'm not a big fan of me choosing this, but it's done. And I just kind of took days off because I think my mind was so drained that I was unable to focus and so I just took like a few days off because I needed it and I had I had the ability to so I did. Then we move on into my birthday kit. I was super happy with this. I love the bright pink that I chose. It's very fun. It's very colorful and yeah. Also this sticker is accurate. I feel old. I, I love this emoji that she created. It's so beautiful. Then we are on to the last week of April. I mainly just used the leftovers from the birthday kit and I used some more birthday washi. I did a lot of chores this week. Um, I definitely put off doing all of my laundry and so all of it got done this week, which was, you know, accurate. I do have chickens. So this day I definitely had to do a lot of chicken stuff. We had to change out their bedding and all that kind of fun thing, all those kind of fun things. And then we also got a Jeep. So I sold my truck at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month, we bought a new car. So it's kind of how things go, but moving on into the April dailies. So I usually just use a piece of vellum. This is from the Sterling Inc. subscription. I think she does have these if, as freebies if you're part of her like newsletter, pe newsletter maybe, and you can print them out on your own vellum, but I just use this from the kit and stick it in here every month. Usually on this page, I'll write down my goals and kind of like at the end of the month, I'll come back and do a review. Did not happen this month, that is okay. Moving on, this is where my daily started and I'm not really gonna talk about each one. I just liked to doodle some things, <laughs> inspirational messages to myself. Um, I have days where like I get sick and I don't wanna write anything and that's okay. And then there are other days where I am not okay and I want to write a very long journal entry that I'm not willing to share on the internet. Um, and then there's days where I have random things where I need to take it out because there people don't want their names messaged, but this was actually really cool. So this is a flower that my boyfriend picked for me on one of our runs and I got to press it into my journal, which was really cool. Um, yeah, so I started the 75 hard around this time. I ended up cleaning up my fountain pen and the ink came back a lot lighter than it should have. And so I don't know if I need to re-clean it again. Not sure on that one. 
Um, this is just another, you know, day of journaling. I have a picture under here, so I like to stick pictures in my dailies. More journaling. I definitely liked this blue ink. This is the Pilot Blue Cartridge, and I wrote in a Pilot Metropolitan. Some more journaling. This day, I used this really light gray color, and I can't even see it, honestly. And then I did share these two on my Instagram. Um, I made the coffee creamer from TikTok. It was so good. Definitely recommend if you if you like coffee creamer. Uh, this was the this was Earth Day. So we we went to this ranch to watch the Leard meteor shower, which happens every year. But it ended up raining, so we didn't really get to watch it. But it was still really cool. And I just had like a little packing list and tasks we had to do before I left. This was my actual birthday, really fun. Um, these stickers are gilded. I don't know where they're from. My mom likes to gift me random stickers and so I just use them as she gives them to me and yeah, I have no idea where they came from. Then we move on. Here's probably the rest of that, those stickers. Um, didn't really have a lot to say on this day, but you know, we got the Jeep and so yeah, this was a cut piece of washi that I just stuck down. Then we're moving on to pretty much the end of April. I got Dutch Bros this day and I got a new paint marker and it looks so cool and shiny. I was really happy with it. Um, I got it from Jet Pens. And this day, Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co. followed me on Instagram and I was I was beyond thrilled. It was so awesome. I'm, I had a fangirl moment. <laughs> uh, this day, I got, I think, five packages I ordered a bunch of stuff for my birthday and I didn't really have anything to write so I just swatched a bunch of the washies that I got and I really like this one. They're from Stationery Pal. It came in like this little set. Um, yeah, this is like a little coffee beans. They're so cute. And then this one's like herbs, more coffee, like moon phases. It just looks really cute. And then this day I used the freebie sticker kit that came with Stationery Pal when I ordered from them. And I read the Productivity Handbook by Reem Ismail, the one I talked about in the health planner that I just did. It is, it's so good. I'm not kidding. Just, it's, yeah, it's great. And now we are in May. So, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much what happened for me in April. I do have other planners and journals that I use pretty regularly. Um, most of them are for work and like kind of personal, like diary-like journal journaling. So I won't be sharing those on the internet, but I did recently receive a common planner because I purchased an undated one and I will be setting that up for you guys. I do, however, would like to know in the comments what you plan on using your next year journal for or if you have anything like a tracker or something that you really like tracking in your planners i'd be happy to include that in some of mine so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one